Planet Dolan. From crazed intruders to demonic beings, the Planet Dolan crew reenacts some of the best true stories from our subreddit about the scariest experiences people have had while home alone. I'm Hellbent, and today I'll be your narrator. Number 8 was submitted by Tyler and Tyler. When Ghost Toast was 9, he was left home alone. He heard a noise, which sounded like someone screaming. He got scared and ran to his oldest brother's room, then locked the door. Later, he heard the noise again, only now was closer. He started shaking, then turned off the lights in the TV and hid under his bed. Their dog, Brave, started sniffing the floor and barking. As the dog barked, Ghost Host heard the footsteps coming up the stairs. Finally, Brave stopped barking. As soon as Brave laid down, the door handle started moving. Just then, the lock broke and Brave went crazy. The truly brave dog bit the intruder's leg. Ghost Host heard a man scream and a long butcher knife dropped to the floor. Brave chased the intruder out of the house. Ghost Host was still under the bed, shaking and crying. His neighbor came over to see what was going on. She saw him under the bed and he told her what had happened. The police arrived at Ghost Toast's house and later found the man. The man turned out to be a friend of Ghost Toast's oldest brother who had a secret hatred of him. He wanted to kill his little brother to hurt him. While the police took the man away, Ghost Toast saw the look on his face. He looked as though the devil had possessed him. Number 7 was submitted by Aunt Shu. Honeybits had an evil uncle when she was 14. One night, she was left home alone, sitting on the living room couch. When her dog sat up, it let out a low growl as Honeybits heard what seemed to be a footstep on the back porch. She turned off the TV and got on the floor to hide from whoever might be outside. She crawled to the window and peeked through the blinds. The moon outlined the hulking figure of a man who had a large hunting knife gripped in his hand. He gave her a dead stare. She could just make out his face enough to know that it was her aunt's ex-husband and he was grinning like a man possessed. Quickly, she pulled back from the window and laid flat on the floor. I know you're in there, you little bitch, he teased. At the sound of his voice, Honeybit's dog went crazy and barked and lunged at the window. She decided to run to her parents' bedroom. Suddenly, her ex-uncle rammed the back door with his shoulder. Honeybit's was just barely able to get her hands on her father's 9mm when she heard the door give way. Backed into the corner of her parents' bedroom, she heard him yell as the dog tore into him. She heard the solid thud of him kicking the dog, then the footsteps came up the hall. Her uncle screamed that he was gonna slit her scrawny little throat. Then there was a deafening blow to the door. She took aim. Then with another loud blow, the door flew open. She shot her ex-uncle seven times, but he didn't die. There were four blossoms of blood forming on his back and three new holes in the bedroom wall. Moments later, Honeybits heard sirens and saw flashing lights. The police entered her house, having been called by the neighbors. Her uncle's limp body was handcuffed and taken away in an ambulance. Number 6 was submitted by Random Dude 550 One night, while home alone, one of Emoji's friends had dropped them off after marching band practice. Exhausted, he fell into bed. As he laid there, he heard the sound of rocks moving outside. He didn't think anything of it, but the sound kept him awake long enough for him to realize that he forgot to lock the door. Begrudgingly, Emoji got out of bed and went to the front door to lock it. After locking it, he started walking back to his room when he was suddenly stopped by the sound of the door handle jiggling. He looked at the door to see the handle moving as if someone were trying desperately to open it. There was a window right next to the door, so he opened the curtains and came face to face with a would-be intruder. He was a tall, pale man with long blonde hair. He wore a black hoodie with the hood up. The man looked completely surprised to see someone else looking back at him. Emoji's first instinct was to immediately run back to his room. He locked the door and called the police. 
When the cops arrived, they did a full sweep of the property, but they didn't find the intruder. His whereabouts as of right now are quite unknown. Number 5 was submitted by Appalachian Skirt. Melissa's parents had left her home alone. It was midnight, and when she heard a bang and got scared, she grabbed her pocket knife and phone. She eased into the kitchen but saw nothing, then crept to the wall and peeked behind it. There was someone at her father's desk trying to get into his safe. She gasped, and the burglar heard her. She hid under a desk and dialed 911. Before Melissa could give the operator the address, the burglar found her. She panicked and tried to run, but he grabbed her. That's when she took out her pocket knife and slashed him in the face. He let go of her, and she ran out the door to the neighbor's house where they called the police. Luckily, the police later found the burglar and arrested him. Number 4 was submitted by Austin C. Quinn. When Pringle was 10, he was left home alone, waiting for his sister to arrive to babysit him. While he waited, he heard something coming from the living room. He thought it was his sister, so he called out to her a few times. Pringle got suspicious and thought she was trying to scare him. His room was at the end of a long hallway, so as he stepped out and looked down it, he saw a dark, shadowy figure with red, gleaming eyes. It was just standing there, right in front of his parents' bedroom. As soon as he saw it, the thing darted towards him. Terrified, Pringle ran back to his room, locking and barricading the door until his sister arrived. Later that night, Pringle had to use the bathroom. As he approached the bathroom, he saw it again. He started crying, then slammed the bathroom door, locking himself inside. Pringle stayed in the bathroom, not even needing to use it anymore. While he sat in there, he heard the thing whispering to him from the other side. It was saying, I see you. Please come out. Let's play a game. That night, Pringle fell asleep in the bathroom. Luckily, he never saw whatever that thing was again. Number 3 was submitted by Zantog. When Doopy was home alone, she heard the front door open and something like luggage being dropped. She thought her family came home early, so she started to go downstairs but saw a sickle on the couch. She looked to the right of the couch and saw deep, icy blue eyes staring back at her. The man was pure white, wearing only black pants, and he had tangled gray hair. He picked up his sickle and began to walk slowly up the stairs. The man whispered, I wonder what will happen when your parents see you lying on the floor, or what's left of you. You have parents, right? Doopy ran back to her room when the man caught her. He lifted her up by the neck of her shirt and threw her against the wall using his sickle. She quickly got up and rushed into her sister's room. The man proceeded to scratch and furiously bang at the door. The man had left before Doopy's family got home. The scratches he left on the door spelled, Never stay home alone. Number 2 was submitted by Nishandra. Robo stayed up in her bedroom one night when she was home alone. Suddenly, she heard something fall in the kitchen. She went to go check it out. When she was walking back to her bedroom, Robo saw a tall figure. Believing it was her father, she said, Hey, Dad! But it just stared back at her with its transparent, glowing white eyes. The figure walked into the bathroom. When Robo pursued, she walked into an empty room with no one in sight. Robo hasn't seen the figure or anything like it since. What's my scariest Home Alone story? I was having a long gaming session way past my bedtime, fighting off bloodthirsty hordes deep into the night. Seeing the creatures feast on my friends made me crave a late night snack. As I made my way into the kitchen, I heard horrible gnashing sounds, like someone ripping open a tarp with their teeth. Terrified, I grabbed my baseball bat, ready to smack the shit out of what sounded like a vicious nightmare creature. As I approached the open fridge, sweat dripped down my brow and my hands rattled in dread of what I would face. I kicked the fridge door shut and took a swing at what looked and sounded like a velociraptor in the dark. My bat whiffed the air as the creature ducked while letting out a spine-chilling screech. As I recoiled, the creature dug its razor-sharp claws into my thigh and flipped me over onto my back. The creature with the ham in its mouth clobbered me with a turkey leg. 
It was at this moment I realized Pandora decided she was staying in my place tonight. Huge thanks for the folks over on our Planet Dolan subreddit for submitting their stories. We have another question for you. What is the scariest encounter you've had with the supernatural? Let us know on the Reddit page linked below and you might be featured in a future countdown. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. After just getting out of the hospital and being tired, Ghost Host put a bowl of ramen in the microwave, but didn't include water and burnt the shit out of it! After it was done, he looked at the charred 